Well, in a personal sense, being Jewish, I, I was almost totally excluded from any kind of decent job in New York City at that time, even though the Jews were one of the most important minorities in the city. Uh, it was very hard to get anything better than, be, than a dishwasher's job or a newspaper vendor's job or, a, uh, or moving packages around. And I tried all of these jobs on a somewhat temporary basis because I was obliged to go to school. By school, I don't mean college. I mean elementary and high school required to go to these schools. That discrimination was everywhere. The city itself was made up of a thousand villages, each of which was highly ethnic, so that if you crossed one street, you went from Jewish neighborhood into an Italian neighborhood or an Irish neighborhood. These were the three big minorities Blacks were more or less isolated in Harlem, and you got into continual fights over your ethnic background. The Italians would challenge you to speak Italian. And if you did, so I could pass, I guess, for either an Italian or a Jew, you see, and they would challenge you. And if you couldn't do it, heaven help you if you couldn't get out of their grasp. I mean, you, you got a, a bit of a plummeting. That was So this experience continually of being rejected, plainly so because of my ethnic background, by employers, and to a certain extent, you know what I mean, even by teachers who uh, had their own prejudices. New York was at that time riddled with racial prejudices and anti-Semitism had really reached a tremendous height in the 1930s.